So I've had a few people tell me that they wanted me to do um, like an AP portfolio video just to show like what's in my portfolio and like how I got a five and just like what it takes to have like a strong portfolio. I mean, I've been wanting to for a while, but I haven't gotten to it, so might as well now. Yeah, pretty much, if you don't know, the AP art portfolio comes in three parts. The way my teacher deconstructed it was um, we did our breath first semester, our concentration uh, second semester, and then we made our um, quality as like we go along. Breath is an exploration of um, like different mediums and just exploring what you can do. I did like two pieces with oil I think that I sent in. I did a lot of like acrylic and like some watercolor I think, some markers, like stuff I've never done before. I hate using charcoal and I did a piece with charcoal and that helped me get a five too. So just they, just, they want to see a range of just what you can do pretty much, so yeah. Uh, what I'm going to show you guys is what I did for my senior year. I already graduated and I got a five, like I said. I struggled, I, I will say that. Like, it was stressful because you had to, like, literally fart out a piece of art every other week and it was, like, it's fucking senior year. So, I mean, like, what else? I have other stuff to do, too. So, for my breath, I'm not really going to, like, go in any particular order. So, yeah, pretty much. Here's this one. I forgot what I titled it. I think I called it Ophelia. It's um, acrylic on matte board. I didn't gesso it or anything, so. They want to see if you know how to work with all the different um, elements of art. And this one, I think I titled it American Beauty. Um, it's a uh, oil pastel on matte board as well. And I did use the reference picture. Yeah. Okay, so the next one, I really like it. It's one of my favorites. It's called Daisy in the Void, and it's uh, the second piece I did with oil paint. I really love cows. I think they're so cute and like beautiful. This next one is, I think it's called Reflections, or I think, and it's gouache. I don't know how to pronounce that. And I actually did this the night before it was due. Here's like, I'm pretty much trying to like work with colors and stuff, like contrasting colors or whatever, kind of like surreal, you know. They love different stuff, so. This next one, it's called Fruit, like the Marine and the Diamond song, or album or whatever, I'm not, I don't really know her music that well. What I did was the main colors of each one, I did the contrasting color, so like on the opposite side of the color wheel. Just to show like, I don't know color theory, like I've never taken a class, I just kinda like do stuff that looks best to me, so yeah, whatever. This next one, this is uh, one of the first assignments we had, and this is me back when I had bangs. It's a rough time. I like the colors, and like I use like gray tones and purples and pinks. But yeah, like a contrasting background and just stripes, just to add like a little bit of pop. And for most of my art, I add like this bold contrasting color. And I realize I'm saying contrast a lot, but like it's reds or mostly whites, just to like add like a little bit of pop, so everything doesn't just go to one spot. My teacher hates it, but but it was like my signature mark. So the next one is a marker piece. I got like patterns, weird little stripes, a mouth with like canine teeth, or got a little V over here. So this next one is one of my favorites as well, and this is the first oil painting I've ever done. This piece is called All Smiles, and it's, um, well obviously it's based off the garden song. Um, everybody's like, oh my god, like why does she look like that? I'm like, beats me. She's just smiling. All I really use to oil paint is paint thinner and the paint itself like I use the paint thinner as a way to clean my brushes and the way to blend the paint which is probably not good but maybe that's why it looks like kind of streaky but this next one it's called flash I think and it's acrylic on matte board again and I really need to learn how to gesso my boards because this isn't gesso but yeah uh, her main focus is the eyes so I really tried hard to like get the attention drawn to that and I know my art isn't super realistic I like that. So it's like not super realistic, but um, still, I think it still looks good. And this last piece is not really one of my favorites. It's kind of why I'm saving it for last, because I hate working with charcoal. I hate how messy it is. It still stains my fingers to this day, even though I sealed it, and I thought I sealed it good. But it's a self-portrait that, and it's called Ace, because I'm Ace, but yeah. 
It's just my face pressed against that. <laughs> That's my breath. Okay, so for my concentration, what I decided to do was um, to do my own adaptation off the ballet Carmen, Carmen Suite or whatever. So what I did was just take like aspects of it and um, make it my own pretty much. So what I wanted to do was go from small details to like the big picture. So the reason I did that was because um, I was really into ballet for some reason during that time of year, it was like December, and I was like, you know what? I love black swan so I was like talking to my teacher and she was like oh well swan like is kind of like a boring ballet like maybe do something else I was like you know what Carmen has a really good soundtrack or whatever so I like researched it I watched a few like renditions of the ballet and I really loved it so I was like you know what? I'm just gonna like do it as long as you keep like a recurring theme you should be good so I guess what my best advice for like people that are still trying to figure out what they're what they want to do for their concentration and all that is do something that you're passionate about because if you don't you're gonna be bored and everything's just gonna seem like a chore like even more of a chore you're, you're gonna get frustrated either way because you have to like get a piece of art out in two weeks or whatever just to pace yourself at least that's how my teacher did it but choosing something that you're passionate about it's gonna be a lot more like oh well I got this I know what to do next like you're not gonna struggle on what your next piece is gonna be so, I'm gonna try to do it in the order that submitted it. I don't really remember what order it was in, so I'm just gonna kind of wing it. Cause like the way I ordered it was kind of important to like tell the story of it. The main th reoccurring theme that I decided to do, which doesn't really happen in the ballet, but it kind of is happening in the ballet, it's like the reoccurrence of roses or like carnations or whatever. So my very first piece is a an acrylic piece and it's just a picture of a rose to so like not to be too obvious so like here's a picture of a rose but hey the rose is going to be reoccurring and just look out for that and like the main color scheme throughout this whole thing is um red and yellow the next piece is an oil pastel piece oh yeah i didn't name this one i forgot i'm just not gonna name them right now i'm just gonna go along and it's just a close-up of point shoes. This is the first piece I did because this is the very first thing I like pictured in my head as soon as I thought of my concentration. And here's the like reoccurring rose petals that are falling or whatever. So the next piece is a digital piece. This is like a, just a printed copy. I'll put a digital copy up so you guys can see like the actual colors. <laughs> It's just a picture of a girl stretching and getting ready to dance and I just really wanted to like practice on shading muscles and skin and like I'm really proud of this knee. I just really like it. Her head looks a little weird but whatever. And my teacher, she thought it was like a really strong piece just because it followed a lot of like um, classic techniques. Or... I don't study art history, I just do it. The next piece? is a portrait piece and this is of Carmen herself. It's oil pastel and this is the main character of the whole thing. On the other piece, I didn't show it. I'm being really unorganized, but there's a little carnation in her hair as well. There's another one, a carnation here, and I really wanted to make the art, the eyes, the focal point. Cause you know, it's so intense and this whole dance is about passion and love. And I wanted to like practice on like shading for like golds and all that. But the main reason I wanted to do this was to like put all the attention onto like stage makeup. So how detailed it is and how cakey it is and just you know how like extra stage makeup is. So yeah. My next piece, it's my like least favorite one but I still did it because I needed to have a piece done. It's um, pastels and it's a close up of like the, we can see it all, of like the dancer's costume and bodice or whatever. But yeah, I don't really like it. It looks really airbrushed and I don't really like that kind of texture. And it's just done on like, kind of feels like construction paper, but her legs are like my favorite part. And the thing I hated about drawing in like a public class environment was like all the guys were walking like, oh my God, you're drawing some titties. I'm like, yeah, welcome to art. For my next piece, this is my most favorite piece of all time. I am so proud of it. This took me legit two weeks to do on with class times and I have block schedule so it's like two hour class times at a time. More like one week but I really like it and it's a digital piece so this is like a printed version of it. 
And if it doesn't look super, like super good on camera, I might just put a digital copy. But this is the one of the main guy characters of the dance, Escamillo, and he's the one of the main love interests of Carmen. And I really wanted to focus on it and his intensity. And I really wanted to do like details of his the roses on his vest and just like there's a little another tiny carnation that's you know it's a reoccurring theme because you know they want like continuity you yeah. know you know and what i used to paint most of my digital pieces is paint tool sigh and i tweak it a little bit on photoshop cs6 but yeah yeah <laughs> the next piece is it's literally like it's literally her alter ego i don't really like it it's like um and I'll, another piece that I rushed last minute. I really didn't want to do it, but I needed a piece to be done. And I used um, gouache and colored pencils. And these are like cheap colored pencils. I didn't use like Prisma colors. I wish I did, but you know, whatever. Her eyes here kind of have an inspiration off of um, Black Swan since I was trying to like hint that I really like that movie. That's literally my favorite movie. Next one is another digital piece. Uh, here's a printed paper version. I'll probably put like the real picture. And it's supposed to be how the whole stage looks. So I based it off like most of the performances I saw. And most of them had like the main dancers in the middle of a bull ring and chairs on top. This next one is kind of similar to the previous one. Um, it's Carmen again and the spotlight's on her. It's This is oil on canvas. So like her hair right there, I, I'm really proud of that part. Everything else, I don't really like it, but it's just a good way to study light on skin, like reflections and all that. And I like the texture I did on the little dress because it looks like a bunch of roses. This next piece is supposed to be like a performance piece, like they're dancing and it's a digital piece as well. So there's a printed copy, like my teacher printed them out so she can just physically grade them and then I can submit them. they're just dancing and I just wanted to do like a really um, surreal type of like pop art kind of thing very mirror you know bright colors red and yellow that all works out so this next piece is the piece that took me kind of as long as the Escamillo piece and this is another oil thing and I'm still really proud of it it's called Habanera because you know that's like the iconic song of the whole ballet or it's also an opera, so whatever. It's this is the ballet version, and it's Carmen dancing with the other guy. Pretty much, I forgot his name, so I'm sorry. And I'm just like you know, just trying to practice light and shade, going from light to dark. I really love how her tights came out. I don't know if you can see that. That's my favorite part. So at this point, I'm trying to be really like theatrical about my pieces. My last piece, and this is the piece that like finalized everything tied it all together told the story i put a lot of detail into it so it's a digital painting again and i never knew you can do digital painting on apr but i'm so glad because it's what i'm best at i guess i was really inspired by baroque art that's kind of like my main thing because i love how dramatic it is and the shadows are so like rich and whatever but yeah that was my whole concentration and everybody's always asking me about it, like, how did you, like, do it, and how easy did it come to you? It's like, you just have to be passionate about it, be comfortable, and don't let the deadlines get to you, just to pace yourself. I think deadlines really helped out, because if not, I would have never finished on time, at least. So, finally, for my, um, quality pieces, you're supposed to send in five physical copies of, like, your best work, with all the little ones with the paper on it, but... I did the Escamilla piece because I was really happy about it. the Habanero piece. Flash, all smiles, which I, I have a really strong attachment to it because it was like the very first oil painting I ever did. But yeah, I've been saying whatever a lot. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I guess what I have to say at the end was um, it's pretty much for your breath branch out, try stuff you've never done before, stuff you hate, just to see how good you are. And also like try using um, pieces from the past, like you don't have to keep making new pieces, like some of my pieces are old and I still use them. For your concentration, I would say do 
what you're passionate about. Like that's the like the main thing I can say. And just don't make it feel like a hassle. Just have fun with it. I think for my concentration, it was really my situation was different because I did a ballet and everybody has like other broad terms and all that. So it's just something you really like. As long as you can work with it well, just do it. Your quality just talk to your teacher and then like decide what your best pieces are and then submit it. So yeah. I hope this video helps. And you know, a like and rewind. I wanna die. <laughs>